Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the BTR TK002 Trunnion kit into your OEM rockers. So you can see I have my set of rockers, my stock rocker bolts, and this is the Trunnion center section from their kit. It's uh, made out of bearing material, a uh, hardened steel bearing material on the ends. That's what those inner races are, as opposed to the carburized steel used in the previous kits. Both the TK002 and TK001 are available. However, the TK002 is an upgraded unit. It's also the only self-oiling trunnion kit. Um, if you look at these little pinholes, you can see those. Those pinholes relay to the inside of this actual trunnion body, and it's got its own oiling holes throughout. So it's the only kit on the market that does that. It still is a roller bearing style trunnion, um, but it is an extremely, extremely uh, well-engineered and very nice product. I was working with Brian Tooley Racing when this product dropped, and um, Caleb and the whole R&D crew busted their butts on it, and I'm excited to show you how to put these kits into your stock rockers. I am also positive that they're cringing as I'm explaining the details of this kit um, because there's way, way, way more that went into the design of this kit than what I just briefly went over. This kit has been um, in the sevens, in the quarter mile. I, in two and a half years, I've never seen one kit fail. There are kits that look like BTR kits that eBay sellers sell, and they are not BTR kits. The snap rings on these knockoffs break and the trunnion breaks and everything goes to hell. People wanna blame BTR, but there's a ton of phonies in the marketplace. So if you buy direct from BTR or the BTR extended dealers like Dynasty, make sure you get an actual BTR product, not the knockoff. So you're not gonna need many tools to do this job. The kit itself will come with your, um, your roller bearings, your end washers, so these little retaining washers that'll sit on the end of the trunnion kit, all of your snap rings, your install washers, these will come into play when we do the installation. The trunnion body itself with the pressed on inner bearing races, they're already on. Uh, these are pressed on at BTR with a hydraulic press that uh, Caleb and R&D actually designed himself. So it'll come with everything you need to do it. You'll need your stock rockers, obviously. Um, if you have stock rocker bolts, you can reuse these rocker bolts. However, the kit is sold with um, 12 point eight millimeter rocker bolts as well. So pick your poison, whichever ones you wanna use, but it comes with everything you need. The only tools that you will need to install these are a 22 millimeter socket and a 13 millimeter socket, and you'll need a press. So this is a Harbor Freight press. I, it wasn't expensive, I don't know, 80, 90 bucks. Or if you don't have a press, you can use a bench vise. It's a little more tedious with a bench vise, so I prefer to use the press, and I'll show you how it goes together. So the first thing that you're gonna do is locate the side of your rocker that has these flat pedestals. Okay, so you see those flat pedestals? The other side does not have it, this side does. You're gonna take your 22 millimeter socket, you're gonna center it up over the top of your jack point, and you're going to put it flat side down, and you're gonna center that circle on the inside of the 22 millimeter socket just like so. After you get that centered, you're gonna take your 13 millimeter socket and you're gonna do the same. You're gonna center it up over the circle um, of that capped bearing. So center it up, center it up. It'll look just like that. You're gonna tighten up your old jack and then when you center it up, make sure that it's not kinked or sideways one way or the other. Because if this thing is producing the pressure and it's off kilter, it'll shoot that rocker right at your face. So once you have it all centered up, you literally just get your jack on, nice and slow. You see how it's pressing that inner bearing out? You can see it moving. You're gonna hear it, usually it'll like crack or snap out the other side, there it goes. Okay, so you're done with that portion. Take your 13 mil, put it to the side, Pull your rocker and get out, get out of here, get out. That's that end cap. And you can see that's the disassembly procedure. It's as easy as that. A lot of people, a lot of people want to know why do you replace your, your rocker's center section with the trunnion kit? And I'll show you, you see all those little needle bearings? Well, they're similar to the bearings that the BTR kit comes with, but they're not a captured bearing kit. So there's no real security 
to keep him from busting out. You saw how easy it was for me to knock that center out. Well, that center section, that cap, or that seal rather, whatever you want to call it, is known to break. It's known to pop. And when that thing breaks, your needle bearings go all inside your engine. And you see all these little tiny bearings will just go all up inside your engine, clog up your oil pickup tube, and you're done -zo. So we have the center section popped out. Normally I'd clean these up, but it's going in my notch back, so it is what it is, don't really care. The next step is pressing one of the inner races on. And I'll show you all these inner race bearings. I don't know if you can read, they're the ones that say made in USA. I don't know if you can read that. It says made in USA on the edge there, you see it? United States of America. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press one of these in with the lettering facing outward. Okay, so you can see my rocker is underneath the press there. The lettering is facing out. That bearing is just sat in there. There's no force that's been applied to it yet. I'm gonna square it up underneath the press and I'm gonna take my old jack handle and I'm going to Press that bearing until it is flush in the rocker. Easy and done. Take the pressure off over. And this is what you'll have. Easy enough. Next, you're gonna need the install washers that they send with the kit, and you're gonna need a trunnion body and you're also going to need another inner race bearing. Now you're gonna take the rocker that you're already working on, you're gonna put it face down on the bearing that you've already installed. You're gonna take your trunnion center section and you're gonna set that in the center so it sits flush, just like that. You're gonna grab your other bearing, lettering out, set that up just like that and then another install washer on top. And you're gonna go ahead and jack her in. Jack and jack, oh, hold on. Just take, take two on this one. There we go. You center it up. Movie magic. Okay. And we are flush. So this is what your rocker should look like now. You have your bearings lettering out, the trunnion is installed. The only thing you have left to do now is take these one of each of these washers that they send and you cap off the ends. Let me just do this with one hand. Come on, boom. So you see that little uh, cutaway right there, I guess you'd call it, that ridge that they leave? That ridge is meant for one of your snap rings. So washer, snap ring. Again, you slide your washer over the top, take some snap ring pliers, I can't do this one-handed, and then install your snap ring over the top of that washer. And there you have it. You have your snap ring, your washer, snap ring, washer, the new trunnion center. So that's the new one. And if you can, let me try to get this. I should have prepared better for this. Old versus new. Really, really an easy, straightforward process you can do at home with minimal tools. So stop paying people to put your trunnion kit into your rockers. And that's coming from someone who charges people to install these. You can do it in your garage, save you some money. And uh, as usual, BrianChileyRacing.com for any of the parts that you need related to this video. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys. If you need anything else, uh, I guess, Write Rye or email Rye. Call Rye. I'll give you his personal cell phone number in the comments. Thanks, everyone.